going to be talking about how to add and subtract decimals. The first thing you need to do is line up the decimal, and then the second thing you need to do is annex or add zeros in to make sure that there's the same amount of place value, and then you will go ahead and you'll add them right down or subtract them right down, and you always start from the right hand side. Let's look at an example. Here we have 89.9 minus 46.78. I wrote it down in the blocks, I made sure that I lined up the decimals, and then here, since it was only 89.9, I had to add in a zero before I went and I subtracted them down. Zero minus eight doesn't work, I borrowed one, I wrote it there, 10 minus eight is two, and it went like that. And then there is your answer. Let's look at another one of how to set it up. So here's example number two. In this case, I'm adding up three numbers. Okay, I'm gonna rewrite them vertically and I'm gonna make sure that I line up my decimal place. So the next step is to annex zeros so there's the same amount of decimal places. I'm gonna add one zero here and I'm gonna box it off to show what I'm doing and I'm gonna add two zeros here. Now I'm ready to add. And there's our answer, 26 and 282 thousandths. Okay, now we're gonna talk about something kinda of cool you can do with mental math to help yourself be able to add um, up or subtract, especially money in a store. So what we're gonna do is for addition, you're going to add a number to one and subtract the same number from the other. So one, for example, if I have $4.96 and I'm adding it to $3.79, then I can make this an easier number to work with by going up to $5. So I'm gonna add four cents to $4.96 to get myself to $5. Since I added four cents here, I need to take it away from the second number. So I'm going to subtract four cents from 79 cents and I'll get $3.75. Now $5 and $3.75, I can add right in my head and I get $8.75. Here's another example. In this case, I have $4.96 plus $3.79, same numbers, but instead I'm gonna subtract 21 cents to get this down to 475. Because I subtracted here, I'm gonna add here 21 cents to get up to $4, and I'm gonna add those two numbers together and I get $8.75. Now what about if I want to do subtraction? So subtraction, instead of what you did to one being the opposite of the other, it's going to be the same. Subtraction, same. So add or subtract the same number to both sides. 6.7 minus 1.3, I'm going to add 0.7 here to bring this up to 2. And then I'm gonna, since I added 0.7 there, I'm gonna add 0.7 to this and I'll get 7.4. And then I'll do 7.4 minus two is 5.4. Or I could subtract 0.3 and bring this to one and then subtract 0.3 and bring that to 6.4. And I have 6.4 minus one equals 5.4. Now you've learned how to add and subtract decimals by making sure you line up the decimal place and annex any zeros. And you've also learned about compensation and how you can use it to do some mental math in the store.